This past week, the school committee and the Board of Selectmen held a joint meeting to discuss the 2019 budget. Precisely, what are we looking at? We are looking at a budget proposal that will have an overall tax impact of 5% or less. Town Manager Norman Kumalu started off the meeting talking about deficits and costs that can go towards the budget. He mentioned the snow and ice budget had a deficit of $600,000. Snow and ice. Our original request had already identified a $400,000 deficit. I can share with you to this date that deficit is now at 600000 This morning, I received an email from the DPW director asking to deficit spend mm -hmm. an additional 300000 in light of the storms that are coming forth. And therefore, the funds that are relieved from the discussions regarding capital do add to the solution going forward. One of the goals of the meeting was to discuss ways to decrease the 7.4 increase of the school committee budget in order to avoid going over the projected town tax rate increase of 5% for 2019. We've come up against a place um, where it's really challenging to find additional cuts. And so I think as part of that process and ongoing discussions, the ways in which Mr. Kamalo uh, delineated the, the things that are, are happening in the different areas of the budget planning um, around re redirecting funding sources, um, adjustments to operating budget, as well as um, the capital discussion. I think th those things are very helpful and these are all things that we've been jointly discussing. My understanding of municipal finance, and it's, it's very limited, but that uh, it's kind of frowned on to always be to go to free cash for operating expenses. Um, snow and ice is one of the items that free cash is expected to be used for. That That's kind of one of the accepted um, uses for it. But the thought being that municipalities should be able to be funding their expected expenses out of the expected revenues. The school committee had concerns that further cuts could lead to insufficient funds to maintain all of the current school programs. I am, I don't feel like there are good options for us on the table. Uh, I feel like we are looking at what is the least bad in some ways. I, I feel like we put forth the budget that we felt was best. That said, I do feel like we all have a, a fiduciary responsibility to work for the taxpayers and to move forward in the best way we can. We understand that it's a significant amount of money that we need to operate the schools. And we understand the stress that that puts on the taxpayers. And we are doing everything we can to mitigate that. But we are experiencing unprecedented growth. The general education budget, when we initially proposed our budget back in January, was a 0.25% increase, general education. 0.25% increase in general education, I mean, just to demonstrate that there are no more line items to cut teensy bits from here and there. A 0.25% for the general education population increase, just, I mean, prices go up more than 0.25%. Well, right now when we're getting down to the 11th hour and we're, we're saying, oh my God, we can't cut this, we can't cut that, it's, that should have been taken care of weeks ago. People should have gotten down there and really thought about the, when we talked about a 5% budget weeks ago, when we talked about a, uh, cutting out a million two weeks ago, that's when it should have been done. It shouldn't have come right down to today and, and, and maybe another two weeks and another two weeks. Next year, we really have to do something a little bit better. We've also, we've also talked about our projections. I've been here for nine years. We've been lucky that our projections have worked well for us that come September, what we put forth at town meeting, what we would have put forth at town meeting in May still works out to be fine come September. So I, I, I just want the public to know that the, the, the budget is actually balanced in September when the selectmen set the tax rate. A number of participants in the meeting noted that planning the budget is running too far behind. I have a real hard time then voting on the overall budget knowing they, they went ahead and cut 
you know, a fifth grade music or whatever it is, and when we wouldn't have to cut fifth grade music. Well, no, but so they just the timing of this is a big concern to me. Right, but I'm sure that they, I'm sure that Mr. Kamala already will, will have all of the. He's not going to find out at nine fifteen that that we found nine hundred thousand. Right, but I think it's important that we all recognize and agree that all the cards will be on the table before we all stay, start taking votes. The reason we yeah. don't have a budget a month and a half ago is because our board wasn't comfortable accepting a seven plus percent increase on the school side and a seven percent increase on the town side and handing that off to the townspeople. We are not near the number that you asked us to be at, which was we left within our heads 715. And we're a couple hundred thousand dollars away from that. So we cannot make another couple of hundred thousand dollar cuts to our budget without affecting program. Just want to make that clear. So I'm just going to trust that everybody does the best they can and then we go to the townspeople and say, this is the best we can do. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and give everybody, you know, better than level service and for, for the best bang for their buck. And that's all I think that the um, townspeople can ask of us. As I have said before, this will not be a perfect solution. We may not get the cuts at the level that has been defined. We may not limit our funding sources to only one source. Uh, we will do the best we can uh, to address all of the issues that have been raised. At the end of the budget discussion, Selectman Claire Wright asked about the cost of the tax increase on a single family home. Just to put this in plain English or in plain dollars and cents so we all understand what we're talking about. Um, the previous tax increase summary that we were working off of with a 7.18% increase um, translated into for an average home value of 571400 and I think it's $99,000 it translated into an increase of $693 on top of what people are already paying. So that's what we're talking about. If we reduce so that we are not looking at a 7.18 impact, we're hopefully looking at a 5% increase. What is the dollar increase on an average single family home that we will be talking about? That number is four hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Four hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Okay, thank you. The Board of Selectmen will continue discussing the budget next Tuesday, and the school committee will discuss their budget with the Board of Selectmen on Thursday, March 29th.